Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hi kids. Hello. How are you all doing? Everyone's doing great. Yes. Wonderful kids. So you all had a look over the submission process, isn't it? So did you all understand the steps, the methods to submit your artwork? I know almost everyone's doing the submission work, but those who are missing it, please do submit your artwork. As you all know, after the class, Priyanka Ma'am will have a look over all your craft work, how each individual is doing, and the top 10 best entries are always featured on our YOLO app. So please don't miss this opportunity, kids. I want everyone to do submit. Yes, can I see a thumbs up? Okay, that's great. So kids, are you all excited for today's session? Yes. Do you all know what are we going to learn? Any guess? I know it's a craft session, but in craft, what are we going to make today? Yes, shall I tell you? Yes. Okay, in today's class, I'll be teaching you a cute coin container craft. So that is nothing, but have you all heard about a piggy bank? Yes. So the kids, everyone have a piggy bank at home. So isn't it wonderful to create something by our lovely hands? Yes. So that's the best part, right? When you create something unique at Oh, so how many of you have piggy banks at home? Mom says even I have because I have so three nephews at home and even they have piggy bank where, where we can save the amount. Yes. Have, do you all know why your piggy bank is used? This is usually nothing but to save our amount. So you must be receiving, right? For an example, if you buy a chocolate and if two rupees is remaining, you can add this in the piggy bank. And at the end of the month, you can... Calculate and see how much amount you have saved. Yes. So this is a small saving account for my cute, cute little children, isn't it? Yes. So this is something fun as well as something innovative where you learn different things. You learn mainly what you learn is to save the amount. Yes. You learn to calculate how much amount you have saved in a month. Yes. For an example, if you buy 10, if mama has given you 10 rupees, you buy five rupees place and five rupees is remaining. So you can add this into your piggy bank, isn't it? So that's a, something great where you're gonna learn different things. So are you all set to learn today's craft? Yes, shall we have a look over the materials and then let's begin what we're gonna create it. Let's have a look. Oh, this cute piggy bank. You know, I've created this for my nephew. Isn't it cute? Yes. So you can use this definitely and you'll enjoy it, children. So this, children, can you see how creative? See here, you can add on your choice expressions. Anything can be done. You can make it according to your choice. 
So I'll be teaching you the main, the base part. I'll be teaching, you can follow the same steps how mom is done. You can create the second one, something unique of your choice. Yes, anything could be done. So let's have a look over the materials. We will be needing two colorful origami sheet that is a full size, white and red, 15 by 15 or any small sheet would do. Scissors, fevicol, black sketch pen, the cardboard cutout measuring 4 cm radius, 2 circles and 25 by 11 cm strap for the base. So I had mentioned the materials. I hope you all are ready with the materials for the trees class. Yes. Shall we begin? Keep aside all the materials. Just take 25 by 11 cm cardboard sheet. Take the origami sheet. Now what we're going to do is take this as the cardboard stencil and outline it. Outline it children slowly. The same outline that is 25 by 11 for the origami exact cardboard stencil cut out just draw and using the scissors just trim the outline slowly children. Do it very slowly. I repeat what we did was we took the cardboard that is 25 by 11 centimeter. We took the origami sheet. We placed it for as a stencil. Now using the scissors, give the cutout. Do it slowly. Follow the same stencil. Now apply the glue to the cardboard. We are pasting it up. Children, see, just have a look. You will be having a thicker cardboard. Don't have to worry. Just paste it at one side because the other side would be in the inner surface. So that we need not worry. For the outer part, you can apply the glue and paste it. Make sure the measurement is exact and it's covering the entire cardboard. Hold it for a second. Let it dry completely. Yes, let it dry completely. Let it dry. Let everyone finish. And then we shall continue. So I'm sure you'll be see your mom's taking the greenish tone. You can choose any colorful origami sheet. Make it more colorful. You can make the lid in a second color as well. It's all your creativity, children. And whatever you create, I hope you're using those crafts. Yes, children. And when you create this piggy bank, I hope you use this in your regular savings. And remember that you have learned a new craft. Yes. Let it get stuck completely. Now, keep this aside. Take the circular base chill in the four centimeter. Even those we are going to cover it up. So apply the glue to the base. So if you want, you can take different color children. I've chosen the same color for the top as well as for the lid. Paste it. Now slowly give the stencil cut out. Do it very slowly, children. So we have one circular base, 
and the main base ready. Do you see, children, this is called, do you see those lines? Yes, you have a cardboard sheet, right? You have two layers. Yes, when you remove, you get this corrugated lines. These are called corrugated effect. Do you see these stripes? Yes. So that will be inner surface of mine. So I need not color it or paint it. Yes. Or I need not cover it. So if you have the cardboard, no worries. Even inner part, even you need not do. For the outer part, we will be covering it. So finish with these two and then let's continue, children. Finish these two and then let's go ahead. Finish, finish, finish. How many of you all say is bingo? Now, okay, I'll pause for a minute. Let's other kids complete. We should continue. Yes, finish it till here and then let's go ahead together. Now, do you all know to make the circular roll? Yes, what we're going to do is, see, we're going to rotate this up. We make a roll. The roll, how the tissue paper rolls are. Yes, the empty tissue paper roll. So this, the circular part would be the base. And then we're going to roll it all around. Did you all understand? Children, one more thing before we go ahead, keep in mind, if the circular form is a little big where your sheet isn't getting rolled, you can trim a little. Yes, you need not worry or panic about it. You can trim it and then continue. So now what we're going to do is apply the glue at the base. And now make the roll. Make the roll slowly. See how mom is rotating it around the circular at same way, just roll it up. And hold it firmly so that it's got, got stuck completely chillin. So why we are doing this, see when you add, once you make the roll, if there is no base, the coin would definitely come down, isn't it? We need something for its base. So that's the reason we're creating the circular base and pasting it. In the circular form, once the circular form has been pasted, we're going to apply the glue at the corner edge and paste it. So hold it firmly for a minute, children. It's not going to get stuck easily. Please make sure the base is exactly at the corner, forming a cylindrical layer, yes? Slowly, children. Do it very slowly. Hold it firmly so that the entire base has got stuck completely. Complete it till here. Now, see, children, once the roll has been pasted, the corner edge, do you see the layers? Yes. Apply the glue at the corner most and attach both the layers together. If you feel it's not got stuck even at the base, you can apply a little more glue and hold it firmly, pasting the base as well as the corner edge of the circular roll what we have created. Make sure you're holding it firmly. Do it very slowly, children. Now our roll is ready. Did my kids complete it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'll give a pause. I'm sure you'll find a little difficult because this roll is a little difficult to stick it. So just make sure you're using both the hands together until it's got stuck completely. Now the base is done, we're gonna create its lid. 
So complete the tilure and then let's go ahead. Bingo. How many of y'all see his man? Bingo, bingo. He finished. Shall we go ahead? Now take the top part. We have one more circular layer, right? That's going to be the lid. So just place and have a look. Is it exact? Yes, a little extent. Okay. Now take the cardboard sheet, children. Just a cardboard strip measuring for about one and a half centimeter of length and width would be for about 22. So apply the glue to the circular base. And rotate it again at the cornermost, forming a lid, children. So for the lid, also we will need a grip. So that's the reason we are making the roll. This also you need to have a lot of patience and energy to hold it firmly. I repeat. Yes, now our circular form is ready. Keep that aside. Now let's create the lid. We have a circular layer as well as a cardboard strip measuring for about one and a half centimeter of length and 22 centimeter of width. Apply the glue at the cornermost for the circular layer. I know the glue might drip, so be careful. Don't apply excess of glue. Apply and start making the roll. Make the roll slowly. Hold it firmly. And apply even at the cornermost where both the layers are joined together. But you will have to hold it firmly, children, because the base will take time to get stick to each other. So let it get dried and then we're going to continue covering up our lid together. So if you feel the width is too much using the scissors, you can trim it out the excess part, but make sure until and unless it's not dried, don't touch because it might open it up. So let it get stuck. Done. Shall we go ahead? Did you all complete it till here? Now what we're going to do? See, it's got stuck. I know the glue might be there because it's wet. So you don't have to worry. Now we're going to make a keyhole at the center to insert the coin children. See, just make a rectangular keyhole. At the center, using the pencil, just make a hole. And then trim this out slowly. Trim it out slowly. Very slowly finish it up. Yes. Do it very slowly. I'm sure this keyhole might be a little difficult for you, but you can use the cutter as well. But be careful. Don't harm or hurt yourself. So give a proper see if it's wet, it might start moving it up. So let it dry completely and then make the keyhole or the coin hole. Do 
Do it slowly. Now, what we're going to do is, see, we finished making the keyhole. Apply the glue. We're going to cover this brown part, yes? As you all know, it'll be the top layer, right? So inner part, it is okay for the top layer. Again, use the origami sheet and cover it up. I'm making the top lid as well as the bottom in the same color. You can choose different color of your choice. You can take yellow, green, yellow as the base, lit as green, anything could be done. Using the scissors, give a cut. Now make the keyhole. Again, you'll have to trim this up until it's dry. Don't touch. It might be a soggy soft soft and you'll find it difficult while trimming. So until it's dry, don't do anything. Once dry, follow the same keyhole what we had done for the cardboard and give a cut. I repeat children, see? Once we finish creating the lid, we finish with the keyhole. What we're going to do for the top part, we're going to cover it up with a neat, colorful sheet. Yes. Apply the glue. And start pasting it up. Using the scissors, start trimming it out slowly. Slowly follow the stencil cut out. Now follow the same keyhole using the pencil, just give a cut, make the hole and then use the scissors and cut the keyhole. Do it very slowly. Yes, do it very slowly. Give a proper cut, children. In a neat form. It might be wet, so it will look a little this thing. But then, once it's dried up, do it very slowly and give a straight cut. To insert the coin, a keyhole also has to be very beautiful. And which whatever we do, it has to be neat and perfect. So we have the lid and the roll base done. Now I'll give you a minute for you all to complete it. Once you finish, place it over the roll and keep it. Do you see the brown layer? That also we're going to cover it up. Now let me give a pause, let everyone complete and then let's go ahead together. Bingo. Finish it up slowly. Complete it. Mom is waiting for you all. Done, done, done. Now, take the white cut sheet, make the fold. Now we're going to make it cute, cute, lovely, lovely eyes. So make a circle. So why we are folding is in a stretch. We're going to get two circles together. Using the scissors, give a cut later on. Let's make the nose part. 
go up slanting come down slanting so upper triangle and the lower triangle i repeat we meet the eyes now for the nose part upper triangle and the lower triangle so give a cut so make sure you're following the stencil don't make too small don't make too big also yes according to the piggy bank we're going to create it continue slowly make the cut out here we have two circles and a mouth part now give a pause let my kids finish with the cut out then let's make the cute cute little little eyeballs completed now take the black sketch pen make the eyeball before that make the outline for the circle for the eye the eyeball and color it up repeat the same thing for the second one make the outer circle and make the eyeball do we have two 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 cute eyes take the piggy bank apply the glue make sure the front side is very neat children apply the glue paste the left eye and the right eye don't leave any space in between make it a little closer so here the expression could be anything of your choice as well apply the glue and paste the nose part isn't it looking cute and now for the body and the mouth part what you can do is using the black sketch pen you can make any designs i'm just making like a v you know the flying birds how we draw curve and curve so just making alternate strokes down so that it looks a little creative you can do anything of your choice and create it in a unique form children slowly continue it bingo till here i give a pause before i go ahead there's a last part remaining finish it till here finish 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 it till here mom is waiting for you to complete yes create it till here and then let's go ahead done bingo 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 how many of you all say is bingo we finished priyanka ma'am is also saying bingo now children see keep this aside take the lid do you see the brown corrugated effect we going to apply and cover this up also neatly children so apply the glue take a strip of your origami sheet you will be having the remaining sheet right according to the measurement of your lid you can take a long strip according to the width and then start rolling it up neatly to cover the raw edge and then it's going to look more beautiful and creative finish it up slowly i know the glue would be excess don't worry once it's dried it's going to be perfect So just make the roll and cover it up slowly cover 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 it up now it looks cute see before it was like brown brown right so now what we did we applied the glue we took the strip of color for origami sheet 
and we pasted it up. Roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. And now comes our cute, colorful, creative piggy bag, the coin container. Bingo till here. Now I'll show you what's the magic fun of this. You will place it anywhere you have the remaining coins in your hand. Add it on, add it on. See how mom is adding. Yes. Our lovely cute piggy bank or the coin container is done. Did my kids also complete? Yes. I'm sure I'm going to look at the submission. It's going to be more colorful and more creative. Yes, because my lovely kids must have used in different colorful sheets. Yes. So I'll be waiting. I hope you all enjoyed today's session learning this cute, lovely craft. Yes. Did you all enjoy? Yes, ma'am enjoyed teaching you all. And in the next month, I'm going to come up with a new creative craft. So for that, please stay tuned, connected, and do attend all the YOLO sessions that have been provided for you. You have got a great opportunity. Every day you're getting a new topic and a new lesson to learn, whether it's in terms of art, craft, dance, magic, chess, anything. So you have various different concepts provided in one platform so don't miss this opportunity stay tuned so we'll see you again in the next class with a new craft so children let's have a look over the submission process understand each step and the procedure please do click a clear picture of the craft you can hold this piggy bank and give a pose with a huge smile and then submit your artwork. I'll be waiting to look into your craft work, children. As you all know, the top 10 best entries are featured on our YOLO app. Don't miss this opportunity. I love you all, children. See you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. We are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, Go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended, which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next. It will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then Upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on Share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app 